side, 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 or side, angle, side. All right, so we're going to look at this one and see what we have. In this figure, we have four, this is number 15, 3.5, and 8 and 7. And we don't have a third side, so we're going to have to say, hmm, maybe we need to do this one by side angle side. So we have A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so remember to do side angle side, you prove two sides are proportional and the angle between those two sides is congruent. Okay, the two angles between those two sides. So if you, if you kind of separate these triangles, it's a little bit easier. Okay, we've got 4 and 3.5 and this is angle C up here. Notice that angle C is congruent to itself. So there's your angle right there in the middle. Angle C is congruent to angle C. Remember, angles are congruent, sides are proportional. All right, now let's look at the proportional sides. This side is not eight. It's the two added together, so it's 12. And this one is 3.5 plus seven, so it's 10.5. All right, let's take similar sides or proportional sides and see if they're proportional. 12 to 4, or 4 to 12. Let's do it that way since we've got it listed this way. That's a 1 to 3 relationship. And then 3.5 to 10.5. Now, one way to do it is just to check it on a calculator and see if it's correct. Um, you can divide and you're going to get 0.3 repeating here and 0.3 repeating there. That works. Another way to do it using just fractions is to go ahead and move this decimal. You're multiplying by 10. That moves the decimal over 1. And we get 35 over 105, which reduces to 1 third. Okay, so now we've proven that the sides are proportional. We know that CB is related to CA. CB over CA is congruent to or equal to um, CD over CE. Okay, and I'm not going to do number 16 because I'm running out of time. Maybe I should. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do number 16. Well, I'm going to do number 16, but I'm going to do number 16 now. All right, so this one says got this triangle and we have 10 and 15 and 7 and 14 and 9 and 4.5 and our number our letters are S R Q U and T all right so what we want to do is relate our sides that are corresponding. And we know that Q is going to be congruent to itself, so these triangles are oriented probably the same way. All right, so we're going to check these. Um, let's look at this long side here. This is 21, and 9 and 4.5 is 13.5. All right, now remember, we start with the long sides and figure out what the proportion is. So um, S Q to RQ, uh, SQ is 21, to RQ, which is 14, so that's 3 halves. That's the long sides. Now the shortest sides are these over here. So we're going to say QT, now we want to use the big triangle for both of those, QT to U, QU. QT is 13.5 to QU, which is 9. Okay, now if you, um, if you divide this, you're going to get 1.5 or 3 halves. Okay, um, this, if you're not real good working with fractions, go ahead and use your calculator. Just go ahead and divide it. Always divide the top number by the bottom number. Okay, if you want to do this as a fraction, you would have to think, 13.5, uh, if you move the decimal, which is multiplying by 10, you get 13, 135 over 90. And then you can reduce that by um, the 
dividing by 45, and you get 2 and 3. Okay, and then the medium side is 15 to 10. So that's ST to RU. ST to RU, which is 15 to 10, and 3 halves once again. Okay, it says use the information to determine whether AB is parallel to CD. Now, if it's parallel, it's going to split the sides of those, that triangle or those triangles into proportional parts. So you want to see if the parts are proportional. So you want to ask yourself, is BE proportional to D, BD in the same way as EA and AC? So you say 16 to 10. Whoops. I'll do it that way is, we're really asking, 16 to 10 proportional to, we'll do it in the same order, 16 to 10 is the pointy end, so 28 to 20. 28 to 20. Well, let's go ahead and reduce this. Uh, we can divide over here by five, uh, 2 and we get 8 over 5. And then we can divide here by 4 and we get 7 over 5. Are 8 over 5 and 7 over 5 the same? No, they're not similar. I mean, excuse me, they're not parallel. Okay, same thing with the other one. We're going to say 13.5 to 22.5. 13.5 to 22.5. The beauty of this is you can run it back. I know I'm speeding up, and that's because I'm running out of time. I'm at Susie's base practice. And... Okay, 13.5 is to 22.5, as 12 is to 20. Let's see if that's true. Okay, we've got this problem going on here. You know, I'm just going to take that shortcut that I taught you about. Okay, let's just punch into your calculator. 13.5 divided by 22.5. And I get 0. 0.6. And then 12 divided by 20 is 0. 0.6. So those two segments are parallel. Okay, so this next one says to perform similarity transformations. Yeah, it's 5.30. Okay, we just did these today. I'll do one of them. Okay, to do a similarity transformation, what you're going to do is take your points. T is 0, 8. U is six zero, and V is zero zero, and it says that K is equal to three halves. Now, since three halves is higher than one, we get larger. All right, now I'm just going to draw myself a little makeshift. You know what? These are all positive numbers, so I'm going to draw it like an L sort of. I'm going to say this, we're going to do it by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's sort of close. Okay, so we have zero, eight, that's right here, and six, zero, that's right there, zero, zero. Okay, so this is our first triangle. All right, with a different color, I'll use brown. I'm going to now multiply these. So I'm going to say, okay, 0 times 3 halves is just 0. So T prime is going to be 0, and then 8 times 3 halves. 8, well, you probably can't even see that. Okay, um, 8 times 3 halves. Maybe 4 times 3 is 12. So we have 0, 12, and you can't really see it, so let me try this in blue. 0, 12. Okay, then 6, 0. 6 times 3 halves. This is going to cancel, and we get 3 times 3 is 9. So u prime is 9, and then 3 halves times 0 is 0. So we're going to have 9, 0. 9, 0. And then 0 times 3 halves. 0 times 3 halves B prime is going to be 0, 0. So our, our uh, dilated figure is going to be larger in the same spot. 
Okay, so we'll see if I get more of this done 